Allah gave you these children as a test. Did you know that? Only to see if you will bring them up the way He has instructed, not the way your whims and fancies want. Allah Akbar. This is a powerful point. And this difficulty arises later on in life. Allah gives you at the beginning full control of your child. Full control. So what happens? You decide what will go in to the child's mouth. You decide when you're going to feed the child. You decide what you're going to clothe. You decide what you're going to name the child. You decide everything. You decide what type of toys you want to buy. You decide absolutely everything. Allah says, while you have that control, you are responsible. Slowly, we're going to take it away from you. So when the child grows a little bit older, the child doesn't want to play with those simple toys. The child says, no, daddy, I want a remote control car. I don't want to play with this right at the beginning. You chose which school the child must go to. There comes a time when the child will say, I no longer want to go to the school, etc. What happened? Allah took away that control and he's showing it to you. When the child gets to teenage, the control is very little. When the child gets to the age of marriage, Allah tells you it's the child's decision who he or she will marry. You cannot force that particular child. Remember this. It is not according to you who that child will marry. It is the best situation would be that which is done with mutual agreement and understanding. The most favorable children are those who consult their parents to say, my father, my mother, I'd like to marry. Can you guide me? Mashallah. May Allah make all our children like that. But you never ever tell your daughter, listen, you're getting married next week. And when the daughter says to who you say, you'll find out next week. Wallahi, it's happening on the globe. I receive emails on a daily basis of young women telling me how they are being forced to marry those whom they don't even know just because it's a cousin or a relative or someone whom your father owes money to. A'udhu Billah. My brothers and sisters, these children are not your belonging. They belong to Allah. Be careful when they would like to marry someone. Ask yourself two questions that Allah has asked you to ask yourself. Is the deen of this person okay? Religiously, are they fine? And is their character okay? If the two are okay, Allah instructs you to swallow the pill as bitter as it may be and to say, it's okay. You have our blessings, my child. That's your Jannah. That is your Jannah. Why do you think the Hadith says when you have female children and you look after them, you will get Jannah when you get them married off correctly. Why? Because a male is yours, a male carries your name, etc., etc. The female also will carry your name. But in a female's case, you are looking after someone, bringing them up, educating them, giving them the deen in order for another person to benefit from them, in order for another person to be able to have more control over them than you, more authority, so to speak. I'm a father, I have daughters. But there will come a day when I need to give them away. That is my Jannah. That is my paradise. It is not easy to give your daughter away. That's why you get Jannah. So forget about those who think they're going to get paradise when they have hassled their daughters and harassed them and troubled them according to their own whims and fancies. And they haven't even bothered about the rule of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can see how passionate I am. I used to think it doesn't exist because we were brought up in an environment that we did not see that happening. But wallahi, it's happening on a day to day basis in countries that are advanced. There are people suffering in silence. My beloved parents, be careful, be careful. Your daughters belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. I want to say it again one more time. My brothers and sisters, as parents, the children are a test for you in that you are not allowed to do what you wish and what your whims and fancies dictate to them. But you have to fulfill the dictates of Allah regarding those particular children. That is your Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors. I hope I've said it quite clearly. And I'm not saying don't respect your parents, but I am saying my parents as human beings learn to become people who adopt the rule of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even when it doesn't suit you we all have dreams for our children myself included like I told you the ideal scenario we all have it in our minds when the children are young we all think mashallah my daughter my son this will happen that will happen brothers and sisters it is Allah's plan that that dream has to be adjusted from time to time as the child is growing older because of things that will happen in life that were not according to your plan 
it's Allah's plan that is executed. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a beautiful understanding.